Hi, I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the all-new HJC CL17 Full Face Helmet. Prices for this helmet begin at $125.99. That's going to be for the solid white color. Graphics are a couple dollars more, as you would expect. It's available in sizes extra small through 2X. Those sizes are going to carry a Snell certification as well as the DOT certification. Alternately, it's available in sizes 3 through 5X. Those helmets will only carry the DOT certification. While we're on the topic of sizing, let's benchmark the fit of this helmet for you. I measure 58 centimeters on the money. Intermediate oval head shape. I wore a medium in the CL17, and it fit and felt exactly as I would expect. Quite comfortable fit, actually. I would rate the shape of the helmet to be, for the most part, an intermediate oval, which is the most common head form out there. My only comment to the shape would be, it felt a little roomy on the sides. Looking at the text for the helmet, they had designed this, engineered it to work really well with glasses and or sunglasses, and my guess is that's the reason why it was a little bit roomier on the sides. While we're talking about sizing, I realize that buying a helmet online or over the telephone, right? can be a difficult process because it's really important that it fits right. What we've done is our commitment to making sure you're in the right size helmet, we've removed restocking fees for anything that needs to be exchanged and or returned. Just a couple simple rules that we need you to follow. The most important rule, don't ride in the helmet. Once you've done that, we're not going to be able to take it back. A lot of reasons for that. Rule two, every one of these helmets when they're new, it comes with that sticker on the shield, leave that on there. When you get the helmet, unbox it, keep the tags, keep the helmet bag, keep the original box. Put the helmet on, watch TV in it, surf our website in it, flip the shield up, make sure you're happy with the fit. If you have any issues with the fit, contact one of our team members. They're gonna walk you through the process, issue an RMA if necessary. We're gonna get it turned around quick and painless. And remember, all orders over $40, we will ship for free to the lower 48 United States. We will take care of the shipping from us to you on your first exchange. Like I said, you're our first concern. We're making it easy. We're making it painless. Who is this helmet right for? Who was this helmet developed for? In my opinion, looking at this helmet, this is developed for any rider that's looking for a good, affordable, full-face helmet in this price range, right? sport bikes, sport touring, cruisers, you're looking for a full face, you're looking at this price point, this is a good quality lid, it should be on the short list. Weight, 3.65 pounds on our digital shipping scale with this exact helmet in a size medium. The shell of the helmet is a polycarbonate composite shell and you can see they have molded into the shell some nice details which really enhance the aerodynamic performance as well as the aesthetics of the helmet itself. Ventilation, that is going to be one of the key features for anyone out there. They've improved the ventilation on this as compared to its predecessor, the CL16, quite a bit. We're going to begin with the chin vent. The way the chin vent is designed, it drives the air in through here and it forces it up onto the shield. That does a couple of different things. Obviously, it introduces airflow into the helmet. And if you're experiencing a little bit of fogging on the shield, by opening that up, that is going to help to demist and clear the fog off the shield. Brow vent. This is a big one right here. Drives air into the brow area of the helmet. We have switched vents up here on the crown as well. Venturi vents in the chin bar. These are Venturi style, the air flows over the top of the vent. What it's gonna do is it's gonna draw the air, the heat, the humidity from inside the helmet up in this chin bar area out of the helmet to keep you cool and comfortable. The rest of the exhaust vents will be managed through the diffuser on the back of the helmet here. It's a pretty simple process really. It flows in the front, out the back. It flows in, grabs the heat, grabs the moisture, drives it out the back of the helmet. The shield on the helmet. This shield is pin lock ready, which means it will accept a pin lock insert. The pin lock insert has to be purchased additionally. Pin lock is probably one of the best anti fog devices out there. It works flawlessly. So if this 
built-in vent system is not enough to clear the fog from your shield, and you want to step it up, jump on that pin lock insert, you'll be happy that you did because it works really well. The shield has multiple detents. There's the first crack for those of us that need to ride around the shield at the first crack. It also has a lock on the side of the shield, which is a nice safety feature. You lock the shield, you're making head checks on the freeway, you're on the racetrack, it doesn't allow the shield to pop open. Unlock the shield, raise it to the top. The removal and reinstallation process for the shield is one of the best out there. You simply pull back on this trigger, everything is spring loaded and you can literally see that the shield jumps off the helmet. You want to get a close up of that ratchet mechanism, close up of the eye port, reinstallation, very simple, you're gonna to wanna to begin in the upward most position. You're gonna to wanna to dip this into the channel it's gonna reside in, like so, and just push back. Doesn't require a lot of pressure, it's a pretty easy process. And down it goes. One more time, the removal. All you have to do is pull back on that trigger. This is something HJC's worked really hard on. They have a good quality mechanism in place now. Interior of the helmet. We've got a super cool moisture wicking fabric. We have higher quality cheek pads, more of a contoured fit for higher comfort. I think they've done a great job with this and I like the way everything is assembled as well. Double D-ring fasteners, pretty standard on any of the helmets today. Of course, you have a snap to tidy up the excess chin strap once you've got it tight. The helmet liner is removable, washable, and replaceable. We're going to show you how to do that right now. There are three snaps that hold each cheek pad in. That's the first thing you want to do is disengage those. I like to get my fingers between the EPS and the back of the cheek pad. That's going to allow me to release the pressure on the snap, pop all those out. I'm going to grab the cheek pad assembly here at the back, pull forward, out it comes obviously a mirror image for the other side. If you're going to wash the interior, hand wash, mild detergent, do not throw it in the dryer. It's going to allow you to clean your helmet up. You can clearly see the contour built into these cheek pads. Good high quality fabric. The top pad is removable also. We have two snaps here at the back. I'm going to disengage those. Up in the crown area, we need to get our fingers between the EPS and the plastic retainer. There are three snaps in place. We're going to pop those loose. And here is the crown pad. Good quality stuff there. You can see the mesh at the top. That lines up with the vents to drive the air in the helmet. You can even see here, they perforated the foam at the forehead to really allow those vents to work well in the brow area. Try and give you a close-up look here at the EPS. This is hard to do because of lighting and it's black inside the helmet. It's going to give you an idea of the channeling that resides in the multiple density EPS as well as the holes for the intake vents. What do I think of this helmet? It sells at a really affordable price and I'm going to say this again, I said it in the other HJC videos that we've done. These guys, in my opinion, have come a long way and are offering what I view now as a good quality product. We're proud to offer the HJC line. I think the CL17 represents the evolution of this price point for them. They're giving you a lot of helmet for a very affordable price. I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackGear.com.